Google Calendar launched in 2021 something called Time Insights, and they're bringing a small update that helps you to be able to name and assign corresponding color labels to an event. And I'm gonna show you how it works and a little bit more about it. Now, if you're new here and you're interested in calendars, we've got a brand new Skillshare class, which you can check out below. You'll also get a free month of Skillshare if you sign up through our affiliate link. Thank you very much and do enjoy that if you dive in. So Google Calendar have introduced this improvement to their Time Insights. Let me tell you, if you haven't used Time Insights yet, it's basically an extension that lives inside of your Google Workspace that you can use in Google Calendar to break down how much time you spent in meetings and also collaborating with others. And basically what that means in a simple term is it basically tracks your time of when you create events and blocks and judges it based on that. But what they've added is a much more manual feature that it helps you to correlate that time better. So before down at the bottom, you could see a time in meetings and naturally you still can. You can see any recurring or one-time meetings. And at the top, you'd be able to see a breakdown of things you worked on. Now they have this option of by type, which is what was before. This is basically an overview of any focus time that you want to schedule, any one-to-ones that you have, and any meetings with three plus guests in. As you can see, I barely take any meetings and you can adjust the work hours based on what's suitable for you. Now, if you go by color, you can see that you can now add color labels. So this one here is edit color label for YouTube. Now, what's interesting is you can add as many as you want. And if you're a freelancer, or you're somebody that organizes their own time in the workplace, you could have this based on any type of context. We actually talk about this in the calendar blocking course. This could be quite helpful for somebody that wants to allocate time to focused work or wants to be able to allocate time to high energy work, low energy work, and be able to see how much time they spent in different areas or break it down per department that you work in. For example, let's say you're somebody that works on marketing and sales. You can see a breakdown per color, like a marketing and a sales area, or even further per project that you work on. And then at the end of the week, over the time breakdown, you can see how much time collectively across the week that you have spent on each thing, and also what remaining time you have to work on certain projects. Now, naturally, I can assume Google are gonna invest in continuing to understand your color labels if you decide to go down that manual route, but look at how you spend that time and how you can better manipulate that to improve the quality of your time. So it'd be interesting to see how they invest in that technology, but it definitely a much improved way to manually organize stuff on your calendar, definitely that Google have introduced here. You can read the full blog post about this that Google added. However, they're stating it's available to business standard, Business Plus, Enterprise Standard, Enterprise Plus, Education Plus, and Nonprofits customers. And it's not available for Google Workspace Essentials, Business Starter, Enterprise Essentials, Education Fundamentals, Education Standard, the Teaching and Learning Upgrade and Frontline, as well as Legacy G Suite Basic and Business customers. And it's not available to users with a personal Google account which has been the case for Time Insights in the past. So hopefully you found this video useful. As you can imagine, if you have a Google Workspace account that it meets those criteria, this can be a great way to just allocate stuff in your time and break it down to, and also still use some of that focus time abilities that they've invested in uh, building inside of Time Insights. Thank you very much, folks, and we'd love to have you as a subscriber. So please do hit subscribe and join Keep Productive for more news about productivity apps and tools and resources. Thank you very much, folks, and I'll talk to you all very soon. It's been Francesco, your host, and I'm excited to talk to you next time.